but yeah, I mean, it, and that that's an example of a statement where I don't care what your context is. That's that's such an asinine thing to say. Red yeah. lines are good. Well, that's that's just coming from a guy who's never held a real job. He's yeah, a, he's, and that's, been, he's been I, in government I, for. I dug deep on that because I'd read an article, I, or I think it was. Stephen oh, I didn't Crowder. believe it, and then I looked it up. I, I it's like, not that I didn't believe it; I thought it was being hyperbolic. I thought Stephen Crowder was being his typical self and nope. you know blowing it out of. Proportion. Have you seen the the picture of him being carried out of a? No. Uh, yeah, Bernie was a. Uh, he was carried out of a. Uh, a rally or something like that. He was, you know. Uh, you know, it was the '60s. You know, so yeah. obviously it was a little different then. Back when I had hair, yeah, <laughs> and his hair wasn't still, white. That still looks the same. <laughs> Oddly enough, all three of them. Yeah, he. Uh, I don't know that that man is so they, out of touch. They didn't have combs in the Soviet Union. <laughs> uh, Joe Rogan, when he was talking about Bernie, he's like, "Yeah, I'll vote for him," but but then you know he immediately, as soon as he goes, "Well, what his policy was," he's like, he just thought he's a good guy, which. I don't doubt he's not a good guy. Well, I Bernie, feel, I think I, he genuinely cares, but he just—I was going to say—I feel I feel the same way about Bernie as I do about AOC, and I believe that I do believe their hearts are in the right place. They just, they need to read some history. Yeah, and um, uh, they, because here's the thing: I can forgive people like in the late 1800s and early 1900s because it was a revolutionary new idea, and it sounds fantastic on paper. Until you factor in human nature and you start thinking about things like, well, if everybody's going to get the same regardless of how much I work, then why should I work? There's no incentive. There's no incentive whatsoever. And sure, you know, it sounds great. It does. It really does. And I think, on well, Karl Marx's heart was not in the right place because trust me, if you research that guy, <laughs> I mean... Talk about a freeloading piece of shit. Totalitarian, freaking. Not even totalitarian. The dude didn't hold a real job ever, and he his family was destitute <clears throat> for most of his life. For a little while there, he did okay, but it was always being funded by somebody else who was rich and probably got them. I think I forget the name of his longest partner, like business partner, not that kind of partner, because somehow he got women. He got a woman to have sex with him and have children. I. <laughs> The fact that it sounds me to this day, but he was um, nothing like uh, wasn't exactly a stud. No, 